of the next line, we have wall file dot read. So there is a function called read inside this wall file. We are passing an argument. This is a string. This is the name of a wav file that we have here. We downloaded using the configuration on top of this notebook. And this function is returning two types of data. One it will be called a sample rate and the other one will be data. So we imported from scipy.io, we imported this WAV file. And here on this WAV file, we have this WAV file dot read. And it opens a WAV file and returns the sample rate in samples per second and data from an LPCM WAV file. So as a parameter, it takes the file name. So it's the input WAV file, which we're passing here. And there is an option. Um, argument, a parameter, this M map, it's a boolean, which uh, whether to read the data as memory map, the default is false, and it's not compatible with some bit depth. So you need to take a look at the notes. It's only to be used on real files. We are not going to use this now, and we'll keep this um, as the default. So if you're not familiar with boolean, so boolean is a type. And we will discuss very shortly now. So if we have true, this is a keyword in Python, and it means something. So it's from type boolean. So here we have the boolean in Python, the class that returns a boolean value. For example, it can be one of true or false. And it's a subclass of the int. So we've seen already the numeric types. So there will be the int boolean is a subclass and it takes only two values, true or false. So boolean values, there are two constants objects, false and true, and they are used to represent truth values, although other values can also be considered false or true. In numeric context, for example, when used as the argument to an arithmetic operator, they behave like the int integers 0 or 1, respectively. This is just you can set in this case here, for the wave read, you can set this. If it's set to true, then it will uh, read data as memory mapped. We will go back to Boolean when we use them. And this function will return two values. One is the rate, which is an integer. That is the sample rate of the wave file. And the other is the data, which is a NumPy array. So data read from the wave file. The data type is determined from the file. So data is 1D for one channel. Here we have the common data types used for this data here. As we've been talking about bit depth, now is a good time to look at these data types of these WAV files. So the data could be a 32-bit floating point that goes from minus 1 to plus 1 and is the type of NumPy float32. So in a second we are going to see what NumPy is and what is this D type here. But for now we are just still on this function and you, the file, WAV file, will have this data format and when you read it will determine from the file and it will return the data. We've seen that, for example, Libroza was using a floating point series. You can have a 32-bit integer PCM. We talked briefly about PCM. We are not going to cover it now, but it's a way how we can encode our audio data. Then it will go from this minimum to this maximum value. We can also have 24-bit integer PCM and 16-bit integer PCM and we discussed on our binary numbers um, revision that the range for 16-bit PCM would go from minus 32,768 until plus 32,767 and it's represented by a NumPy D type int 16 and we can also have 8-bit integer PCM and this would go from 0 to 555. 
So just remember that 8 bit we would have 2 to the power of 8. So 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So we have 256 possible numbers and they go from 0. 0 is also a number, it's also count as one space until 255. So we've already seen there is nothing new. So this is this line of code here. We are passing this string. We already seen what the string. We are reading this wave file. And then we will have the sample rate, which is in this case is 48,000, so 48 kilohertz. And it should be an int. So when you see the type of the sample rate, it is an int. And we also have this data. So this data is a NumPy array. If we take the maximum value is 32,767, exactly how we've seen here. And if we take minimum, that's minus 32,768, which is also here. And the type should be a NumPy array. So there is NumPy and the array.